What's up guys, back for, I think it's week six for just an FAQ and a quick tips video guide. Every single week, wanna bring you guys just the tips that you need to get started. And today's video, I wanna talk about for the people out there who are looking to get started in the markets, how can you get started in the markets or how can you get started in the stock market with a full-time job? And number two, number one, number one, I'm gonna go through five. Number one, to get started in the markets, do not quit your job. Everybody's like, oh my God, I gotta quit my job to get started in the markets. This is a fallacy. The people who quit their job before they know what they're doing, before they establish a process, they're going to trade from a state of survival. They're going to be screwed mentally. They're gonna bring it in the markets and the market doesn't care who you are. It doesn't care you have three kids to feed. It doesn't care that your college tuition is due. It doesn't care that your grandma needs medical bills. It does not care. So if you go into that war zone without a process and learning what to do and you quit your job, you get all hyped up because you saw someone on YouTube or you saw someone on Twitter post a big fat P&L, you're gonna get creamed. You're gonna get smoked. So do not quit your job, pump the brakes and realize you gotta learn this you know, process first. You gotta learn what you're getting into. So number two is trading full time is not trading all the time. They're like two different things. So I know many traders, including myself, and specifically Alex, who's probably the best example of this, needs about a half an hour to two hours a day trading to make a full time living or at least supplement income. So guys, the, 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 the ideology of, oh my God, I got to, you know, Trade from the market opening bell to market close, or it's just, it's ridiculous. It's a, it's old way of thinking. I have to watch every tick on the level two until the market close, and that constitutes a full-time trader. That's not correct. A full-time trader is someone who knows what they're doing with the process that comes in prepared and expects a paycheck. So I know full-time traders that trade three times a week, but when they trade, they know what they're doing and they're hitting hard and they're getting paid heavy. So that's kind of the thing there. Number three is time-based trading. Like I said, the stock market doesn't care who you are, but also in a good way, meaning it doesn't care if you need 15 minutes or five hours, there's a strategy out there for every single trader. So whether you need 15 minutes in the morning because that's all you have before you go to your nine to five, whether you like it or not, or you have all the time in the world and you wanna incorporate any strategy that you can because you have more time than the, than the guy or the gal that doesn't have as much time. Which brings me to number four. So that was time-based trading. You gotta figure out your time that allows you to have an edge and execute then. Whether it's the first hour during what we call zombie hour or um, long-term swings, whatever. But number four is a strategy that's really long-term timeframes or long-term holds that are hands off. Swing trading once or twice a week, maybe three times a week, maybe every day, but they're four hour periods and you set stops and OCO orders or which is kind of in-depth stuff. We could talk another time about that. Or, you know, guys, long-term expiration options Long-term ex expirations on options are great. You can have a year outlook on the, on the S&P 500 or something going down or up with calls and puts. So what I'm trying to get at is there are strategies that are very hands-off because they're longer time frames. And then you can also have risk management through stops and et cetera, et cetera. Then number five is very short-term, maybe short-term scalps and they're hands-on, but they're quick. Scalps, I can wait for a setup where every single morning, all I have to do is wait for the morning bell. And my process allows me that if that confirmation in the first hour, that first 30 minutes, the death candle comes, boom, hit hard, get a drop on the pop, stock craters down, short the pop, cover the wash. Could be 15 minutes. You, maybe you just wait for that before you go to work. Maybe that's all you have time for. Maybe all you have time for is a quick stuff scalp or maybe a dip buy. Or, you know, what a death line short, whatever it is, guys, there's strategies out there specifically that we teach that allows you to be quick or strategies that allow you to go, well, I don't have much time. I'm at work, but my money's working for me. You could be at the beach for all, <laughs> for all I know, but there's strategies and there's time frames for everybody. Even if you have a full-time job, you got to figure out what constitutes a full-time trader and what allows you to have an edge based on your schedule. And that's the key. So guys, if you liked anything I talked about today, I want you to hit my business line at 213-458-5997.
And let's talk about this in depth. I'm here to answer your questions. I love kind of picking the brain of traders or people getting started in the markets and at least getting the information you need before you embark on this journey. And also, if you want a real deep dive, uh, hit up My Investing Club. That's My Investing Club slash webinar. And uh, you can see exactly what I talked about with Alex. Um, he gives a lot of examples of this in depth for newbies, veterans, whatever it is. But you're gonna you're gonna get a really cool look and insight into just a just a multi multi uh, millionaire trader every single year and what his process looks like and how doable this actually is. So, and he's the best example that I can always think of. So, I'll see you guys next week.